The son and namesake of former Philippine dictator Fernand Marcos, given the clear winner of the presidential election by the polls, concluded his campaign on Saturday with a giant rally in the suburbs of Manila. We believe that the voice of the people should be in this um, place today because we believe that majority of the Filipino people, especially women, supports uh, Lenny Robredo. A victory in Monday's poll would crown decades of efforts to rehabilitate the legacy of his father, the dictator Marcos, who was over throne in 1986 and died in exile in the United States. The prospects of seeing Fernand Marcos Jr. arrive in the presidential palace, however, worries human rights activists, religious dignitaries and political analysts who fear a government without constraint. Ten candidates are in the running to succeed President Rodrigo Duterte in a one-round ballot where the relative majority is enough to be elected. Wins. My only concern will be the safety of the Filipino people because uh, we're, we still have this fear that we will have a voice if ever he wins. Kasi, and he will get this opportunity to clear his name and the other people na involved sa negative na nangyari sa bansa na to. Tens of thousands of red-clad Marcos supporters braved the scorching sun and wind on Saturday together on a dusty wasteland overlooked by a luxury casino, a symbolic image of this country's huge wealth gaps that many are leaving for work abroad.